the best of. It's big time family fun, and it's happening at Lumen Field this weekend. Buckle up, friends. Monster Jam is back, and it'll feature world champion drivers and their 12,000-pound monster trucks. Woo tearing up the dirt in wide open competitions of speed and skill. Theron Zahn is on the plaza this morning with Colt Stevens, who's one of the drivers. Theron, what do you have in store for us? Uh, we're going to give you all the down low inside information of what it takes to make this incredible show happen. And uh, we're going to get it right from one of the drivers here, Colt Stevens, uh, joining us. You drive Thunder Roarus. <laughs> make sure right. we say it right. Thunder Roarus. Yep, bring so, the roar. Uh, bring the roar. And uh, talk to me, just give me the stats first, like the horsepower, size, weight, that kind of thing. Oh, that's easy. We're 12,000 pound Monster Jam truck. We're on 66 inch tall tires. We're around 1,500 horsepower. So it's quite a bit more than your regular car, but we're ready to have some fun. We've got the brand new Thunder Roarus. Roarus here. Yeah. We're actually reigning freestyle world champion. I'm excited. Right here, Lumen Field is going to go down. What does that mean, freestyle? What, what's freestyle driving? You know, freestyle is just two minutes of the wildest, craziest time you can have, and, and that's one of my favorite events. We go out there, each driver gets two minutes to do anything that we can, big air, backflips, crazy moves. We'll throw anything crazy, unexpected. You never know what's going to happen. And what's that competition like? What are, you, are you trying to outdo the other drivers? Do the other drivers even know what you're going to do? Oh, no, definitely. So we actually have three competitions when you come to Monster Jam. Your first one's going to be race Racing that's head to head, who can win, and I really like that as well because there's no taking away from it. The second one is going to be skills, and that's where we get two opportunities. Each driver goes out there and does a move, and we're doing stuff like stoppies, getting up on the front two tires, moonwalks, going backwards. Moonwalks, wow, yeah. that sounds exciting. Crazy to think that we're doing these in 12,000 pound Monster Jam trucks, but you know what? We got it balanced, we got it figured out, you know. Then we go into my favorite, like I was telling you, freestyle, yeah. two minutes, wild and crazy. How long have you been doing this? 10 years. I'm actually a second generation driver, so I've been around for a long time. I think I was at my first Monster Jam when I was just two weeks old. Two but, weeks? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you remember like the Bigfoot days? Oh, yeah, definitely. My dad was one of the originals. You know, it was back whenever the trucks were on Lee Springs and 15 shocks per corner. Yeah. And it was a halftime deal. Now, we're the main deal. We're awesome, crazy. 26 inches of travel in the front, 30 inches of travel in the rear. I mean, it's just you can the do craziest anything. thing. So, Mike, uh, I've always wondered, uh, what's it like inside when that's all happening? I mean, I'm assuming it's very loud, uh, but what can you actually see out that windshield? You know, it's crazy to think, but we're locked in these trucks extremely tight. We have the best safety equipment. I wear a Hans device that locks my head in. I wear a seven-point harness, so it's wild. The truck goes one way, and I stay with the truck. It's like I always tell people, I'm a 12,000 pound person at that point because I become one with that truck when we're out there. Yeah. And how do you power this thing? Is there these diesel gas? How does it go? This is actually a methanol fuel injection. So we just switched to EFI, which is electronic fuel injection. Yeah. And it's uh, actually methanol is the fuel that we run. So it keeps the motor cool and it's like a top fuel dragster. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to say this because it might be top secret information, but what does it cost to make a truck? Like these trucks do incredible things. You know, I don't know. We were constantly pushing the limit of what these trucks can do. So we're always elevating the game more and more every single time. So it's hard to put a number on it. I mean, it's yeah. fun. It's, we're going out there, we're getting crazy. Okay, now I gotta ask you, what, what do you drive in your regular life? It's not a Kia, is it? No, I don't drive, I actually drive a Chevy home. Uh, I have a lift kit business as well. So, you know, trucks are just my, my lifestyle. So yeah. it transfers over to Monster Jam. Yeah, and, and another thing I wanna share, and I hope it's okay for me to share, because this means something to me, because I'm of a certain age. I, I'm like in my early 50s. His name is Colt. He's named after Colt Seavers from The Fall Guy. Only a few people at home know that show from back in the 80s. And that show was about jumping trucks. Is that how you got your start? That is. That's exactly what I was named after. You know, my dad loved that guy. And, you know, my mom wanted to name me Chance for some reason. But dad said, hey, we're going for the fall guy. We're going to name you Colt. We're going to fly through the air in trucks. So she said, I want to name you Chance. And, you, and he said, no chance. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, Colt, thanks for being here today. Yep. And again, this is uh, at uh, Lumen Field. He's going to be down there. How many other drivers? Uh, there's 12 drivers. But I'll tell you what, if you get the opportunity, go to monsterjam.com. We actually have an early access pit party available this week. You need to come check the trucks out. Everything I was just talking about, you yeah. can see the trucks up close and personal. You can get an autograph from me and all the other drivers out there. So it's a pit party. Make sure and check it out. I'm telling you, you don't really justify just how big and crazy these trucks are until you see them in person. Yeah, so if there's a question I didn't ask him that you want to ask, come on down. You can ask him personally. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Theron's on. I'm thinking about a 12,000-pound trunk with a truck with a seven-point harness. It's just like your Jeep. Yeah. Yeah, just like it. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Get out on the track this weekend. That is so cool. Ugh. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. I went to a monster truck thing 
Well, first thing, if he went to his first monster truck when At he was two like two weeks. weeks, he's probably driving by like one month. Absolutely. One Parents month. Parents were like, just, just stick him in. He's, he'll be in fine. There. Yeah. I remember my aunt took me to one of those shows when I was little at the Tacoma Dome. Mm -hmm. And that's when the Grave Digger, which you saw yes. in some of that B roll, mm -hmm. which I guess is like, I don't know if it's, but it's a famous one. Very well known. Yeah. But I remember going in it being a really fun atmosphere. It just seems like it would just, I mean, your eyes are just constantly moving and be like, whoa, whoa, like, yeah. Just I, uh, the kids' reactions to those things would just be amazing. And that's totally Theron's jam. Yeah. So it's awesome. I could totally see him sitting in those seats for sure. <laughs> and what a cool thing to be able to look at those up close if you get those oh, early so access cool. tickets too. Yeah. Amazing.